Now, hey, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Um, in my hotel room, um, decided to shoot a little video on something that came up when I was doing one of my presentations this morning. And as some of you know, a lot of what I talk about is like nutrition and, and you know, sleep and physical activity and stress management. Um, you've probably heard me talk about how New Year's resolutions typically fail. Um, and you know, certainly through some of the other videos talking about you know, helping you make small micro steps in order to create change in your life. And there's the key word, change. And besides all of the mental clatter and noise that's going on up here that keeps us from succeeding in pursuing our dreams and goals, the other thing that really holds us back is our fear of change and also the difficulty of change. Now, you know, myself, I've been sick, I've been banged up, I've been injured, um, broken bones, I mean, all kinds of different things that have definitely sidelined me from the things I want to accomplish. Um, you know, anxiety, panic attacks, um, just stress in life. And the thing is, is like when that kind of stuff happens, that's, that requires a change, that's forced upon you. You know, when you do live a certain life and over time you, you know, have high blood pressure, cardiovascular health issues, metabolic issues, diabetes, autoimmune disorders, things like that. When you go to the doctor and get diagnosed or, you know, you know heaven forbid, have a traumatic accident, that is forced change. That's, you know, you, have, you can't do anything about it. You got to deal with it and you, you have a choice. You can either stick your head in the sand and go, woe is me, um, or you can pick yourself up and um, start you know, fighting the good fight and getting yourself back on track. But heaven forbid, again, um, never want that to happen, but unfortunately, it's usually some form of trauma or health scare that usually forces people to eventually do something different. Um, I have struggled for decades now because um, I've been doing this for over 20 years, of trying to find a way to engage people to be more proactive, um, to make change before change is forced upon you. And so if, we've, if you go back to some of these conversations around New Year's resolutions, you know, that's change that we electively bring on upon ourselves, but it's very aggressive and very stressful. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's a rip the rug out from underneath you kind of thing not necessarily sustainable and, it's, and, and just it's a very difficult thing to do. And so with the new week's resolution approach, these are small changes over time. And you know, I've been just doing this a long time and worked with so many clients that this is the only way for the most of us to make change in our life and to get what we want. You know, either you know, aesthetics or health or performance, um, you, you name it. You know, the thing is, is that in order to get benefits, and to, and to create the life you want mentally and physically is you need to make changes in your life. And this is hard. But the truth is we've become so addicted to rip the Band-Aid off or we're sold this idea that we can lose 30 pounds in 30 days or six-pack abs in six weeks and you have Ozempic and medications and you got a headache, you take a pill and you, know, you, you, you take a pharmaceutical and, and it treats the symptom but not the underlying cause. This is not a sustainable model. This is not how you live a life of vitality and strength and happiness and longevity and with health span. It's our lifestyle choices that we need to change because you've heard me say this before probably, but I'll say it again, is that most of the things that ail us are self-inflicted. We do it to ourselves. Yeah, genetics play a role. Um, but the truth is, is that you have control. And so the th to gain control requires you to make change. And so change is something that is uncomfortable. It's difficult, but it's um, only difficult when you make it difficult or when you try to do too much or when you're not compassionate with yourself or you demand too much of yourself and you're, and you're seeking perfection. I promise you that if you create small changes over time, little minute micro shifts, you're gonna see the results. You just have to stick with it. Just like financial investing, even if you're only putting $10 a week or a month away, it's like, it doesn't seem like much, but you know what? 
five years goes down the road and stuff starts to happen. I know some of you don't want to spend five years doing this and it doesn't take that long to do this. You can get great results in three months, six months, and certainly a year. Um, and it's, it's a small amount of time if you consider the rest of your life. Um, and so embrace change, embrace the idea of change. Um, your new week's resolution for the you know coming up whenever you want to start the clock usually it's think about it Sunday night but act on it on Monday is to do something different I mean it could change could be something as little as taking a different route to work buying a different product at the store um, but you know I want you to do more things like just you know Focus on more nourishing food or, you know, change your life, you know, you know, just like brushing your teeth, take a few minutes to just practice your breathing. Um, change up the routine. Just do things different. Just shake it up because there's so many examples I could give you that, that are perfect examples of, of change in your life that forces you to just think about different things or think about doing things differently, things that aren't traumatic, right? You know, when we move and live in a different place or when we change jobs or get a new car, or, you know, there's all kinds of little things that create fun and excitement in our life. But believe it or not, there's also a lot of change going on, but we don't necessarily pay attention to it. Anyway, I don't want to keep blabbing here. Um, I just want to help you create the life that you deserve, that you want of vitality, health, happiness, longevity, health span. Just be compassionate with yourself. Take your time and start making a difference. Write these things down. Just small micro steps. Um, step outside of your comfort zone and stick with it. And over time, I promise you, you will start recognizing and seeing a difference. So that's it. That's my little uh, blurb for today. And uh, I hope you liked it and I hope it has an impact. If you have any questions, please shoot me a note and uh, on the whole YouTube thing here, like, subscribe and whatnot, um, because it just helps me develop more information that helps you. So, all right, till next time, see ya.